Hi, everybody, and welcome to Final Cut Pro Trainer and Michigan Creative. What we thought we would do is just do a series of tutorial videos on Final Cut Pro X just to get you started. You know, uh, some of the stuff's pretty easy, but it really does help when you have somebody just guiding you through. And so we're going to start at the very beginning and how you just start a project in Final Cut Pro X. And real quick, I just wanted to give you um, an idea of what version that we're using. And so this is the latest version, and we're on Final Cut Pro X version 10.0. 2.1 and just a quick reminder that anytime you can make sure that you update Final Cut Pro X because there's a little you know there's always some bugs and things that they fix but you know unfortunately sometimes they move stuff around too so anyway with that uh, my name is Brian Town I'm a certified Final Cut Pro trainer and also the owner and CEO of Michigan Creative and Final Cut Pro trainer so with that let's just show you how to start a project in Final Cut Pro X very simple to do once you have Final Cut Pro X open um, you can do it several different ways just like in Final Cut there's probably four or five six different ways to do that and we'll get into shortcuts and keyboard shortcuts later too but let me just show you how to get started so that you can right away set up your project in the right way which is important the more you stay organized I think at the start although it seems like it takes you know a little bit longer to do some of these steps I think the more that you organize yourself uh, in the beginning, the better off you'll be in the long run. So try to do that the best that you can, and, and we'll show you some tips along the way. Um, so anyway, the first uh, step in editing a new video is to create a new library. If you are familiar with Final Cut Pro, they've changed multiple times, and they used to be called projects. And anyway, now they're called libraries, and we'll show you what that is um, in a second. So go up to File and hit New Library. So really think of libraries as a folder really that has everything in it. And so what we're going to do is we're going to name our library. But before we do that, we want to make sure that we save the library to where you want it to go. And what that could be is either here in the default location, which is movies on your hard drive. If you don't have an external hard drive, this is fine. But our recommendation is if you can try to use a Firewire hard drive or USB 3 hard drive because that way if your computer does crash you always have a backup So let's just do that and say that we do have a um, External firewire drive and right here. It says town HD So I'm just gonna click on that and I'm gonna make a new folder on my hard drive. That's just gonna be called Final Cut Pro And you could call this whatever you want So what I would want to do is I'd want to give this library a name for the project that I'm editing and don't get confused when I say projects and libraries, and we'll explain that here in a second. But um, for our purposes and what you guys are going to be learning is we're going to start a project that is going to use footage that we already have. So we um, interviewed a company called 50Tel, and 50Tel is a local phone company. And so we're going to be editing that as we go throughout these tutorials. And what um, we're going to call this is just simply 50Tel. You can call it whatever you're working on. And I'm just going to put you know a dash in here just so that we know it's for Final Cut Pro training. All right, and so you can call it whatever you want. Once you create a library and you give it a name, um, it's called 50Tel up here, you can see, 50Tel FCP Training. It's gonna create smart collections, which we'll get into uh, a little bit later, and then it creates a an event. And all that event is, is really, guys, another folder. But what we're gonna do with this event is we're gonna separate these out as we move along, and we're gonna actually give these a specific name to keep our clips organized. And so I just click on it once, wait a second, and then it should come up and, and allow you to change that. So right now it's with the date, which is fine. You could do that, but you know, we'd like to stay super organized like we talked about before. And so what I'm going to call this is I'm just going to call this interviews because I know that I have some interviews that we need to bring in. Okay. So again, what we have is a library, which is like a folder, 50 tell FCP training. And inside of that folder is a event and those events we're going to import media into that event the last thing that we're going to do is create a timeline and i wish they would just call it timeline but they don't they call it a project now and so what we're going to do is just create a new project inside of our library all right so we can do that several different ways you can right click and do new project you can come down here where it says new project and hit that and then you'll see it'll come up with the project name and where you want to put it. Now, if you had multiple events um, up here, because you've been working on several projects, you could choose a different event, but we only have one. So it's going to allow us to put it inside of this. And so really what this is, is just your timeline that you're going to put all your footage down on. So I'm just going to call this 50 tell time line. Okay. And you'll notice that that comes up 50 tell timeline. You'll notice that down here, 50 tell timeline, 
And so now what we have is a complete project and we're pretty much ready to go. So again, before we start importing clips, which will be on our next tutorial, let's just review what we've done so far. And what we've done so far is simply just make a folder, what we now call libraries. We've chosen a place to save that, which is on our external hard drive. We've created an event that we're gonna put interviews inside of, and we've also created a project or what we'll call a timeline. And so if you've done all that, you've set everything up right, you're super organized, you know where everything is, you could have multiple libraries down here and you would know exactly where all your interviews are and all your B-roll is too. So with that, uh, here in the next tutorial, we're gonna be starting a project in Final Cut Pro X. Again, I'm Brian Town with Final Cut Pro Trainer and Michigan Creative. Thanks guys.